起来。And now, please have a round of applause for the best man's speech. <laughs> Why aren't you neck in, Max? Why aren't you neck in? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. For those of you who don't know and haven't guessed, I'm Ricky. Uh, thank you. Uh, Dean's ever so slightly taller, <laughs> but much less vegan older brother. <laughs> Uh, speaking to Dean last month, he said I'd, he'd rather I didn't speak at his wedding. But I'm the only brother he's got, so yeah. I'm lucky! <laughs> Dean and Chloe, it is an honour to speak at your reception, seeing so many friends and family here. This day has come off the back of a crazy and difficult year for you both, with the wedding being postponed on several occasions due to a global pandemic and national lockdowns. But I have to say, Dean, Organising COVID just to delay the wedding was a bit much, to be honest. It was worth it. Uh, to give you a bit of a background on Dean and I, we met in the early 90s. Um, pop culture was all the rage, and I knew instantly we were going to be close. That's mainly because we shared a bedroom. He was on the other bunk, so we were pretty close. Um, it is strange giving this speech, though. Um, I was always told if I had nothing nice to say about anyone, just don't say anything at all. Um, but Dean gave a very good speech at my wedding. <laughs> Sterling, some might say. Um, and I thought it was only wise that I paint a true picture of my brother. Uh, for, for my best man speech, Dean performed a psychological and meta-analysis of myself. Uh, using his knowledge in business uh, to let people know the likelihood of me showing you the fruit bowl yeah. compared to how many drinks I'd had. <laughs> so if you don't know what a fruit bowl is, just ask Dean later on, and he'll, he'll give you a good demo demonstration. So I thought I'd use my professional knowledge as an osteopath to talk through <laughs> Dean's medical history. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, name, Dean Stephen Lee Campton. Height, five foot... Fine. We're, uh, with his heels, with his heels. Um, notable medical conditions. Unfortunately, Dean had to retire from football uh, at the age of seven. Um, he had a horrific, horrific injury. Uh, he sprained his thumb uh, pretty badly, pretty badly. Uh, so yeah, he, ne he never returned. Uh, his diet, uh, as I already mentioned, Dean is vegan. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> But, I mean, looking at him, he's been, he's been vegan for a few years now. There's a way you can tell Dean is vegan. Because he tells you. <laughs> Within about the first five minutes. Okay, right, so let's move on to uh, this lovely strapping fellow here. Um, right, so his first uh, mental attribute we're going to talk about is calligraphy. Okay, if you've ever received a card from Dean you'll know he's a master at writing a sonnet, a limerick, or a short poem, just to let you know his feelings at the time, uh, uh, just how much you mean to him, or how much he can take the piss out of you. Um, but this took some time, and Dean even wrote in one card, life is a fickle mistress. <laughs> he's, he's honestly, he's a card. He was 11, he was 11 at the time, yeah. Um, whereas I, on the other hand, would have a card pushed in front of me, uh, so I'm writing this, it's Dean's birthday. <laughs> and I'd get the card, and I'd often write in it, um, I hear it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Dean. Love you, brother. Open brackets, mum made me write that. <laughs> okay, right, his next uh, mental actual, well, he's mental. Uh, right, his comedic timing. Um, so rather than Dean going for, or sort of trying to replicate some of the obvious comedy icons he could have gone for, such as uh, Ronnie Corbett, uh, <laughs> Kevin Hart, Danny DeVito, uh, or Warwick Davis. Uh, Dean instead tried to emulate a short, fat, still in his 30s, 
paper salesman from Slough. <laughs> David Brent. Dean is the David Brent. He's the Brent Master General of Banstead. Okay, right, next one. Uh, this is the one in the nether regions. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Okay, right. Pyuresis. Everyone knows that one, yeah? Pyuresis? Okay, um, this is the irrational fear of public toilets. <laughs> So, so when we were growing up, Dean would we'd go to the loo and he'd run past the urinals and go straight into the cubicles just to be a bit more discreet. But there's only three reasons I can see why he'd do that. One, obviously he can't reach. So he, that's an obvious one. The second, he just likes to sit down. Or the third, he didn't want to get his meat-free meat and two veg up. <laughs> Okay, right, which one is it? Let's, you just can't make sure you get the right one. I think it's this one. Yes, we got the right one. Okay, um, right, the technical term, the medical term, hypertrophy of the thena muscles during his teenage years. <laughs> now, there's, there's one osteopath in the room in the last. Okay, right, so, <laughs> well, the diagnosis, if we try to expand on it, would be enlargement of the muscles of the hand, but that's not. What from some of you dirty minds are thinking. <laughs> but it is from hours upon hours of dedication to the other love in his life. His Xbox. Yeah. The Xbox never says no. <laughs> uh, okay, right, I think it's this one. Oh, I'm gonna push him over. Yes! Right. Oh fuck. Okay, right. Oh. Uh, yeah, right, enlarged liver. Okay, now this is um, not entirely true because I feel like Dee might have been put off alcohol through my uh, colourful drinking history. Um, so much so that Dean was paid to have his first ever drink. I believe it was 98 euros to have his first drink on holiday. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, but since then, Dean's tastes have obviously expanded. He doesn't mind a little fruit-based drink for the ladies. Uh, Malibu and pineapple. Or even a little Cinzano of an umbrella in. So here you go, Dinny. Here's your, uh, here's your, here's your usual. Oh. What's your face, you? Lovely drop. Lovely drop. Don't kill yourself, please. This is flammable. <laughs> uh, that's your aftershave, I think. Okay, right, next one. Uh, which one is it? I think it's this one. Right, here you go, okay. Next one is localised hypertrichosis. Yeah. Yeah, any ideas? No. Okay, it might sound like something Dean Courtney Stag do, um, but I can assure you no cream is going to fix this. Um, but it does need regular treatment for. Um, Dean has one of the hairiest backs you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, it's pretty much the main reason he moved to Dubai, just so he could afford his waxing bill. <laughs> okay, right, uh, we're nearly there, guys. Um, okay, the last one. Oh, stay there. Okay, uh, tachycardia. Um, upon examination, it seems Dean has had a fast heart rate since about his early teens. And that coincides with when Dean and Chloe met and fell in love. Uh, it's been a privilege to see you both grow uh, with each other, watching your relationship go from strength to strength. You support one another through the rough and the smooth. I'm so happy for you both. We're all here celebrating today. Uh, Dean, even though I've tried my hardest to find flaws in your personality, uh, they are very much tongue in cheek. You are the, one of the most loyal friends a guy could hope for. You are hardworking in your professional life. You are caring to your friends and family. And I'm so excited for you and Chloe for all the adventures you are yet to have and for many happy and healthy years of marriage. Love you, brother. Open brackets. Mum made me say that. <laughs> Thank you.